Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today we are going to be doing, some, doing something that I have not done in what's for dinner on my channel, but we are going to be doing a what's for dinner and I'm super excited. I'm going to be showing you five different dinner ideas. Um, one actually being a crock pot, which I know is lovely. I think that this one that I showed you is probably one that I've shown you in one of the crock pot meals, but doesn't all this food look delicious? It so does. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. The first meal of the week, I went ahead and I made some Dorito chicken tenders. And what you're going to need is some Greek yogurt in a bowl. You're going to need some Doritos. I portion control need these little bags because if I have a big bag, I'm going to eat them all. So I just got the little, little bags, crush them up put them each into their individual bowls. And all you're going to do is coat each chicken tenderloin with the Greek yogurt. Now I've also seen people do this with mayonnaise and what the Greek yogurt or the mayonnaise is going to do is it's going to act as a tenderizer. And also it's going to obviously help the Doritos um, stick to the chicken. So you just basically, I mean, it's super easy. You just I kind of take a little brush, brush the Greek yogurt on, and then I dip it into the Dorito, like the crunched up Doritos, put them on a baking sheet. You're going to cook them in the oven at 350 for like 15 to 20 minutes. And I will say about this recipe is that make enough for just one night because these honestly just do not heat up very well the next day. Um, and we did have leftovers and I'll show you that in a minute, but yeah, they just don't do that great um, as leftovers. And I am a leftover junkie. I live for leftovers. And this is probably one of the few things that I've made that just doesn't hold up well as a leftover meal. <laughs> This is what they look like coming out of the oven. They were, again, super delicious first night, second night, kind of uh. And this night, I decided to make it with a salad or as a salad, and it was delicious. I just have regular salad mix. I think there's some carrots in there, some cheese, and some Bolt House Farms ranch dressing on the side. So for night number two, this was a chicken meal. Um, super easy dump and go. You need a can of black beans, a can of corn, a can of rotel, some, a whole block of cream cheese, and then a packet of ranch. Always make sure you rinse your beans, by the way. That's so important because the stuff in the can is just ugh and it's gross. So um, you also are going to need some chicken. So you put the chicken in the crock pot, pour everything else in there. Um, I usually do it on low for like six to eight hours, but this day I was like running low on time and so I did it on high. This right here is going to show you that this is not done. Like I can look at this right now and go, Jill, like why did you? Yeah, I went ahead and I just went ahead and um, I went ahead and I went ahead. I went ahead and I just, the chicken was still really hard um, and not super tender. It was still really tough. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and went, made other plans for dinner that night and we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so different plans for dinner tonight. This is not done. So I turned it down to low. The chicken is just like really tough and not tender and I'm just going to have that tomorrow. So what I've done here is this is just a Jill concoction. I don't know. I was in the mood for something Mexican, and this is what this was supposed to be because we were going to have tacos with that, but you guys will see that tomorrow. So I'm making some rice over there, and I just put in some salsa and mixed in some sour cream, and now I just put in some shredded cheese. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cup of rice in here, and that's going to be my side. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Then I'm going to, like, do some freezer veggies, like maybe some broccoli or something like that, have on the side. And this, you guys have already seen, so we're going to have these leftovers. Now, I will say the chips get kind of soggy, and they're not the best for a leftover type thing. I wasn't thinking. I definitely should not have made as much as I did, 
but it is what it is. We have all this stuff. Now, it will turn out better in the air fryer, but I just don't feel like putting taking out the air fryer. Does that make me a bad mom? Like, y'all, I'm just... I've worked all day today. And I'm just so tired, and we're just going to eat some soggy chip chicken <laughs> tonight, but I'll show you the plate when it comes together. Okay, so this is dinner. Y'all, I know this is, like, probably the weirdest thing, and you guys are probably like, what the heck? I'm telling you, it's really good. It's really good. I don't know. It's not going to be for everyone, but I love to mix sour cream and salsa and add it to my rice here and there. But yeah, these aren't going to be that great today, but hey, <gasps> there's this cutie. I'm going to have to change. Look at her hair, you guys. So that is her plate. Oh, Control's yeah. plate's over there. This sprinkle of this there's Control. cheese right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that is what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay, so tonight I took the crock pot mixture that I made for last night but couldn't eat last night, and I put it in tacos shells, and then I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for five minutes to just melt the cheese and make the taco shell all yummy and delicious. I'm going to top mine with lettuce, sour cream, and tomatoes, and the kids are probably just going to eat them like this. I'll show you the plates when they're done. Okay, so here's my plates. There's Ava's plates. There's Ava. Beautiful girl. Got this new Yeah, she's wearing my shirt. Um, and then this is Control's plate. And I'm just drinking water. And then I have a little extra. By the way, I don't know that these make the best tacos because it is kind of soupy. This is probably best served over rice. But, hey, you know, I was feeling tacos, so that's the way I made it. Do you, boo? It's your kitchen. So I just have some, um, what's that, refried beans that I weighed out in here as well. So I'm going to mix all that together and kind of eat it like a soup. And next to my tacos. So tonight's dinner, I slaved and slaved and slaved all day to prepare these homemade, this homemade bread and this homemade turkey and gravy and this homemade mac and cheese just kidding y'all this is the easiest dang meal to ever come together and the kids like control actually asked for this specifically he was like so wanting it it's delicious and control doesn't like a whole whole lot especially when it comes to meat well i'm not gonna say that he's he's just he's a more of a picky eater but anyways this right here is the turkey breast and control actually wanted the whole package that's like the whole package that comes in this it's not a whole lot but you know hey it's really good and then he doesn't like the mac and cheese so that's why me and Ava well he doesn't like this kind of mac and cheese so that's why only me and Ava have it but Bob Evans mac and cheese and then these you guys oh my goodness oh these are so good I've actually never had these before. I've had the brioche rolls, the bigger ones, and they're good, but I didn't notice them being that good. But today I ate one of these for lunch, and OMG, it was so good. So I'm having one for dinner too. It's the brioche slider rolls I got from Walmart, and look, they were on sale. So yeah, there is my plate right there. Ava's plate, Kentrell's plate. We're going to go watch a movie because they go back to school tomorrow. So lots of quality times was spent today together. And yeah, we're going to chow down. So that's what's for dinner tonight. All right. So tonight for dinner is super simple. Like I feel like every night is super simple, y'all. I'm not a kitchen in the kitchen type girl. So everything's simple here, especially when I start working outside the home. But this is what we're having tonight. The kids started school today. I have an eighth grader and a fourth grader. I'm crying. But yeah, this is Ava's plate right here. I just made hamburger, well, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, whatever. Have a side of corn and I did some checkers fries in the air fryer. I just had a taste for the fries, so I had I got three. <laughs> and I have them on these brioche buns. Let me show you guys. This is what they look like. You get them. You get them from um, <laughs> you get them from Walmart, and they are delicious. So yeah, wait, that's what we have our burgers on, and then we just have a side of this steamable microwavable corn. So that's what's for dinner. I just have a slice of cheese, some lettuce, 
and ketchup and mustard. And there's Contrell's he doesn't like cheese on his burger, so that's what's for dinner tonight. Okay, so for dinner tonight, it's super simple. It's a Friday night. I've been working all day. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and so I did not want to cook. This literally came together in two minutes. Actually, what was the time that this went in there for? Three minutes. Okay, came together in three minutes. So I just got some Caesar croutons into this Caesar salad I got from Walmart. This is the best, best Caesar salad dressing. It's bomb. Highly recommend it. And then I have this chicken noodle soup from Walmart. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me put a face to my voice. I love you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day and I hope that you've gotten some inspiration from this What's For Dinner, especially if you're a busy single mom or a busy mom like I am. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go eat my dinner and finish working. But I love you guys and I hope that you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye!